right, so now we've reconnected our battery in the conventional manner. We've made our terminals fit, so we've got the positive now goes into the uh, solenoid. The negative goes to the body and ground. And we're going to go over here and verify this. The reversal of before, now we put our probe. Again, I'm just touching my arm to the body. And there's our positive coming off the battery, so now we can go back to testing things with our test light here by simply poking it where we suspect power to be. Alright, so we've confirmed we've got negative ground. Let's see if the Moke likes it. Really, those are the steps. Reverse the battery for most things. If you don't have a stereo or other things that uh, are going to be sensitive to that ground, theoretically, this should work without any explosions. So we should hear our fuel pump go pop, pop, pop. Well, since we just started it, we didn't hear a fuel pump, but we do have an ignition light. So let's just see. A little bit of choke, like normal. And voila! Standard negative ground. The fuel gauge works. Our oil pressure, of course, is a mechanical gauge. Temperature still reading cold. So, seemingly no adverse effects from the reversal of our battery. We're looking good. We'll go make sure the battery is not on fire. But really, that ought to allow us to install our more powerful electric fuel pump to see if we can solve the issue of running out of fuel at the high power settings. There we go. A negative ground. Complete conversion in just a couple of minutes.